Anti-North Korea protests broke out across the South Korean capital one day before American warships are to lead naval exercises alongside their South Korean allies in the Yellow Sea. The drills come five days after a North Korean artillery barrage destroyed a village on a South Korean island, killing four. One local official suggested North Korea's repeated warnings against South Korean drills taking place in the region should have been heeded. Following the attack, the mayor of the district in which Yongpyeon Island is located suggested North Korea may have been provoked by South Korean exercises taking place in the area. Now he's paying the price for comments some South Koreans view as unpatriotic. While those who question the performance of South Korean officials are vilified, conservatives value America's support for the South Korean Republic. The U.S. is our ally, so in a crisis, it naturally must take part in such exercises with us. And with the USS George Washington aircraft carrier coming, we will be able to punish them whenever they try anything. So as a Korean, I want to express my gratitude to our American allies. Seoul also named a former military chief as its new defense minister in a bid to restore confidence in the armed forces after what was called a feeble response to the North's attack. Meanwhile, a large-scale funeral mourned the two South Korean Marines killed with their branch commander promising retribution. Our Marine Corps will take revenge against North Korea a hundred or thousand fours so that they pay the price of killing and hurting our beloved Marines. China, North Korea's main ally, has reiterated its opposition to the war games, but said it is working back channels in Washington, Seoul and Pyongyang to reduce tensions. North Korea has expressed regret over the two civilian casualties. North Korea again warned that the U.S.-South Korea exercises would increase the chance of armed conflict. The situation on the Korean peninsula is inching closer to the brink of war due to the reckless plan of those trigger-happy elements to again stage war exercises targeted against the DPRK in wake of the grave military provocation they perpetrated against territorial waters of the DPRK side in the West Sea of Korea while staging aggressive Hogu war maneuvers against the DPRK. Despite the war of words, analysts in Seoul believe wider conflict is still unlikely, with U.S. forces keeping their distance. There'll be a lot of rhetorical attacks, a lot of rhetorical blasts, but I don't think we're going to see gunfire from North Korea. Certainly there won't be gunfire aimed at the George Washington or the American or South Korean ships, which will be well out of artillery range. South Korea's President Im Young Bok held a National Security Council meeting with his new defense minister and put the country's forces on high alert. Frank Smith, Press TV, Seoul.